Well, hi everybody. Well, I have been wanting to do a penny table for a long time. So this is the table I've chosen to do a penny table on, and then I will coat it in resin. So the first step is to spray paint it so it's not this ugly black. I'm going to do it a nice espresso brown. Then we will cover it in pennies, and then we will coat the whole thing in resin. So first we're going to paint it this beautiful color. Isn't that nice? And I don't care if there's a couple of dog hairs on top of it because that's all going to be covered in pennies when we're done anyway. So I'll do a couple coats down the legs. I've already done the underside. And then when this is all done and dry, we will start putting the pennies on, which will probably be tomorrow because I don't want to scratch the fresh paint. So anyway, I'm going to get this all painted up and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye bye. Okay, so for the penny table, I need a whole bunch of coins. This thing is about, I don't know, two and a half feet tall. And I'm hoping that'll be enough coins to do the penny table. Well, this is my table. I got it all spray painted. I did it in this beautiful espresso brown. And I want to take the legs off of it so that when I'm ready to pour the resin, if the resin leaks around my tape, none of it will come down the legs and I'll be able to perfectly level it without the legs. So I'm just going to flip it over and take the legs off of it and then bring the tabletop up a little bit to work on the pennies. Okay, I think I have the right tool now. Yep, that looks like it. And now I'm just going to mark where each one came from. I should have done this as they came off, but I remember. So that they go back in the same spot. It may not matter, but I'd rather not take that chance. This is still a little bit sticky on the top, probably because I didn't sand it and prep it perfectly. But that's okay because this is going to be covered in pennies all except for the very edge and the very edge is fine. Now I'm just going to use Mod Podge glue. You could also use white glue. You could use pretty much anything. I've seen people use hot glue but I don't want to use hot glue because that can actually let them not sit down level and I want them to sit down as level as possible. So I'm just going to use my foam brush and apply some Mod Podge glue. It will dry very nice and clear. And I just want something to provide a little bit of adhesion. I want all my pennies to go face up and I want them to stay out from the edge a little bit. Okay, so we're all done putting the pennies in. I'm going to let the Mod Podge glue dry really, really well because we don't want any dampness under the resin. So I'm going to let this dry for a few hours before I start setting up for the resin pour. So I'll see you in a bit. Bye-bye for now. All right, it took overnight for my Mod Podge glue to completely dry. 
But the next step is we're going to completely tape off the edges. We're going to do a two-part pour here. And I've actually never done this before. This is just the way I think it should work. So we want to, this is painters, blue painters tape. And we're just going to go around and tape it completely so we have this nice clean edge that will hold back the resin when we pour it in. We want it to completely submerge the pennies because if we don't put the tape on and we just pour the resin and let it run off willy-nilly, then it won't completely submerge the pennies. It will run between them and over them and off of them and off of the tabletop. And it won't have a nice smooth top. Okay, hopefully we have good adhesion all the way around and we're just setting it on solo cups in this tray so now we're going to mix our resin up and we're going to pour it in here and I know that we will be left with an edge that we don't like but we'll address that and take care of that in our next step so first we want to do this pour and completely submerge the pennies so that's the next step and hopefully we won't have any leaks so i'll see you back in a few minutes after i get this all mixed up now with a project like this it is super important to make sure that your work surface is extremely level now i have mixed my resin for three minutes and then when it looked like it was completely mixed i mixed it for a minute more and I'm just going to go ahead and start pouring it on. I had no idea exactly how much to mix, so I mixed 12 ounces. And this is very self-leveling. So we're just going to let it do its thing. I'd rather have too much than not enough. Okay, it looks like it has gotten everywhere it needs to get to, but of course it is full of bubbles. So I'm going to go ahead and take my torch. First I'm going to take my gloves off because they just get in the way. And with my torch I have to be very careful not to hit the tape because of course the tape is flammable. But I'll just get the center bubbles with this. We'll check back with you when this has set up and we're ready to take the tape off. So I will see you then. Bye bye for now. Well hello again everyone. So it's been a little over two days since I poured this. I wanted to give it some good cure time. So I want to take this tape off and see what we've got here. As you can see, none of it dribbled out through the tape, which is fantastic. And I know because resin shrinks a little bit as it cures, we're going to have this little ridge around the edge. And we've got divots between the pennies where it shrank back as it cured. And that's one of the reasons we're going to do a second layer of resin. The other reason is because I'm going to grind off or, or shave off. I think I'll use my Dremel tool and bring down this edge. And then rather than sanding it seven times and polishing it, I will do a second pour 
which and just let it flow over the edge and then that will take care of the where it's divoted a little bit between the pennies and take care of the edge where I sand it and then just flow down and give us a nice smooth finish. Now I am just absolutely amazed that none of the resin leaked out underneath my tape. But as you can see, the tape left it kind of rough, so, especially where, where the tape came together. But I'm going to just give that a light sanding and take all that down smooth. And then like right here, the tape stuck pretty good. And right here, there's a ridge where I started the very first piece of tape, I think and it overlapped. But we'll get all that off, we'll smooth it out, <clears throat> and then we'll do a second pour and just bring it all back to life and nice and get rid of the divots on the top. The divots are really hard to see, the low spots, and I'm not sure if we can catch them. If you can't see these, I'm sorry, but trust me that they're there. Instead of a perfectly smooth glassy finish, it just ripples a little bit between and over the pennies. But And you might have noticed where I have a few whitish areas right here. That is nothing wrong with the resin. That's where my glue wasn't completely dry and I was just flat running out of time to get the pour done. I'm still hoping that'll cure as the resin cures, but we'll have to wait and see. So I'm gonna go get my Dremel tool and take this outside and sand it down and then I'll bring it back in when we're all done. So I'll see you in a bit. I've got this perfectly level again. I just want to double check before we pour it because I've been bumping around in here. Okay, we're, we are good and level. So I am just going to start pouring. Okay, I wish I had better light in here. In fact, let me see if I can move this light closer. I don't know if that helped at all, but it's a very dark, dreary day outside, so we're dealing with that too. Not much light coming in from the windows, but I love how this is going so far. The tape held the resin back and made it very deep. So it just looks like everything's sitting in deep water here. It's very beautiful. I've seen other pours over pennies where they didn't do a tape hold back and then the resin runs off too much and, uh, and it just isn't deep enough over the coins. It, it just, I don't know. It, it's, I don't like the effect when it's too shallow over them and it runs out between them. Okay, so I just wanted to show you up close what the drips look like that are coming off the sides. And that's what we'll be pulling off. As it cures, it'll drip slower and slower, but they would cure like that if we let them. And we don't want that to happen. You see the depth of that surface? That is going to be beautiful. So, 
that's it for now. And I will see you back probably tomorrow when this has a nice initial cure on it. So I'll see you then. Bye-bye for now. As you can see there are no major drips on the underside. It looks very nice and smooth. You see how deep that is? It's just absolutely gorgeous. And then you come up and it just looks like those pennies are underwater. It's so smooth and glassy. I love it. Now let me see if I can now let me see if I can zoom out. That is just beautiful. I'm really pleased with how the tape worked around the outside of it. It held back the resin very well. We only had two teeny tiny drips that came through. And then when we poured our second layer of resin, I only had to go after the drips for maybe two or two and a half hours. And then it was uh, cured enough that it quit trying to drip. And the whole time that I was going after the drips, there were micro bubbles come into the surface so I'd pop them at the same time. But this turned out really well. I'm very pleased with it and I would happily do this one again. I like all the different shades of pennies in it too. I had thought about trying to clean them so that they were all the same copper color but I like all the different shades. I think it adds interest to it. So I loved doing this. I love the way it turned out. If you enjoyed this video, please like and hit that subscribe button. And join me next week for something fun and cool. I'll see you then. Bye bye. Just give me a few seconds. Oh, they are not regular Phillips, so I'm going to have to go find the right tool to get these off. Just want to give it a little more mix just to make sure we're not going to have any sticky spots. So my dad asked me how many pennies are in here. And I actually had not counted them yet. I will have to do that when this is all done and then put that in the put that answer in the description.